<laughs> hey guys, today we'll join a huge crowd following Jesus. And you know what? He knows about all these people, this huge crowd. He knows about their hurts and pains. And we're just recording this video to teach you about it. We're going to climb up the mountain. There's many ways to climb to follow Jesus up this mountain. You know, you could roll your mountain trail wheelchair up the mountain. Or use those, like, hiking poles. Oh, or... good idea. <laughs> yeah. You could even get on one of those gondolas, you know, pay a little extra. <laughs> <laughs> or put on your rocket backpack and push the button to go up to the top of the mountain. So, ready? Figure out your way to do it. You could climb, too, or pull up a rope. One, two, three, let's go! Rocket! Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> All right, how'd you get there? I went on a rocket ship. Okay, guys, hey, settle down into your chairs. Enough of that. Find your seat and get your body peaceful after that big climb. In your imagination, let's look around and see all that we can see. Um, what can we see here? We're on top of a mountain. You know what? In Jesus' time, they believed mountains were holy and special places to be with God. Do you have any idea why, Mabel? Maybe because they were close to the heavens. And, oh. And they could, like, they're high up. Smart alert. <laughs> they're up high, close to the heavens. Maybe that's why they thought that. But anyway, Jesus went up to go teach from one of these mountains. And he would teach them about the kingdom of God. God's kingdom. Kingdom is kind of a word we use to say, you know, like the way the world works. Kingdom. And God's kingdom was a certain kind of kingdom. God's kingdom still exists now and we can live in that kingdom. The one and only. You know, God's kingdom is all about there's abundance. Plenty. There's more than enough honor, more than enough food, more than enough money, more than enough love, more than enough power and resources for every child of God to thrive. Thriving is like when a plant grows really strong and good and fast in all of its fertilizer. As Jesus was teaching about, you know, his kingdom, he said one of these beatitudes. Remember about beatitudes, they have a certain way that they sound. You hear them and they sound all the kind of similar Right? Yeah. So here's, here's, yeah, you remember? Yeah, one of them is like, blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. That was the one from last week, I think. Jesus says, blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. What does inherit mean? Oh, that's a good question. Did you wonder that too? What? <laughs> oh, I heard you. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Good question. What does inherit mean? What does meek mean? Well, the people, when they were listening to Jesus and they heard this, they kind of recognized some of it because their worship songs and their prayers had stuff like this in it. In a book called the Psalms, P-S-A-L-M-S, -S, Psalms. Looks like it says Psalms. And one of them in Psalm 37, verse 11 says, The humble will have land for their own. The humble will have land for their own. Inherit means like something you get, like you will get something. Land was a very meaningful and important thing. To own land was to have a place in your community, to have honor, to have a way to provide for your family. Here you go, here you go. I have cat food for you. I have small child food for you. Don't worry, it's not poison. And to be able to prepare for, your, you know, to be able to have things for your family to thrive, right? But most of the people that Jesus talked to did not have land. They did not own land anymore. Landowners in their time were hated because they used violence and to take land away. I've got your land. You can just deal with it. Ah. This is where Jesus, again, he turns things upside down. Bloop, bloop. Can you do that with me? This is what the Beatitudes always do. They turn things upside down. Ready? One, two, three. Bloop, bloop. Oh, there's cow meow. Upside down. <laughs> Good one, Mabel. I like that. So with this promise about the meek, 
The gentle, kind, and humble people. Gentle, kind, humble. Those are the ones who will receive land, he says. What? I thought the violent people got it. No, no, no. no. Not the people who have violence and use they force. They lost their land. Oh. Maybe. Facts. <laughs> um, so not those people, and not just the physical land of Israel where they live, but the whole earth is what we're talking about. This also holds a powerful message for us about caring for the earth. Does that make any sense to you? Caring for the earth? Do you know right oh, like, now like you're you're, up trash you're caring for the earth right now, Mabel? Is caring for the earth like picking up trash and like recycling? Yeah, caring for all of God's creatures. Oh yeah, God's because we land, got this kitty. Taking care Instead of a cat of... and feeding it well and removing its fleas. All those kinds <laughs> of things. <laughs> taking care of God's planet, the animals and other people. And you remember that all the earth and land belongs to God. And recognize how everything that we have and receive, including lands, belongs to God, and then we take care of it that way, yeah. okay? This means using what we have with respect and love. Got it? Facts. Right here. There's a good phrase that I want you to remember. See if you can say it with me. I am God's child, and everyone else is God's child too. Don't worry, I'll give you a second chance, maybe even a third. Ready? I am God's child, and everyone else is God's child too. This reminds us of Two important truths. Can you hold up one finger? First, you are special. You are a beloved, unique child of God who deserves love and respect. Got that? Okay, second. This one's interesting. Each person around you is another special, beloved, and unique child deserving of land and respect, love and respect. So this is what a meek or a humble attitude looks like. It doesn't mean that you see yourself as more important than other people. Or your needs is more important than those around you. That's hard because I always want to think I'm more important, right? But I'm not, and neither are you. So let's try again. I am God's child, and everyone else is God's child too. Now, before you transition off to your next activity, and I know that in the email that... Tracy and Anna sent to you, there's something to do. There's something to color. There's uh, songs to learn words and motions for and stuff like that. Whatever they sent you, you can go do that now, but listen to this blessing first, okay? I want you to hear this as God's way of giving you a gift. God's words for you. Ready? God blesses you because you are gentle and kind to others. Yes, so true. You want to say it, Mabel, to everybody? Right here. God blesses you because you are gentle to others. Okay. Yay. Have a great week. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Cow Meow loves you Thanks all. for your help, Mabel. And thanks, Cow Meow, for your help wherever you went. It's still on. Okay. Oh, it's still on? Ugh!